Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, social media technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue, a little bit of a departure each week. And uh, we've been doing this now for a little bit over a year and a half. So I want to thank all you guys for the continued support, your likes, shares, and comments. And of course, you can always click that uh, icon down there in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe along with that notification bell. That way you guys will know when the next Friday Vlog is available along with additional content that's here on the channel. This week in gaming, May 30th, Thursday, DICE released Mercury, the newest map that takes place in Crete during World War II. And of course, this is our first new map in six months for the game. It's been amazing and uh, it's been a long time. It didn't release with as many maps as previous Battlefield titles, but nonetheless, the new map has generated a great deal of hype. So we have to kind of see whether or not it will attract newer players to the game. I will include a link to the actual trailer in the published section, as well as Jack Frag's breakdown of the particular map if you want all the particular details. Also this week, I did a video I put right up here in the top right hand corner. Uh, a Just Survive video for all the fans because you guys um, do ask quite often about whether or not the game will be returning. And the thing is, we can only work off of the assumption that since the game was sunset in 2018, uh, there is no obligation by Daybreak to take over what Nant G was pursuing. And that was, of course, to re-release Just Survive. So now that it has returned back, the title and negotiations, of course, have all returned back to Daybreak. So we can only assume that uh, this matter has already been settled. But nonetheless, I try to address it again. Uh, you can check that out in the video up there in the top right hand corner. Last week and this week, big news out of Europe. Yes, I do have an interest in what goes on in the world in general, particularly with the elections that recently took place. It's amazing to think that Nigel Farage just six weeks ago had created the Brexit party. And then of course we saw individuals like Tommy Robinson and Carl Benjamin, Sargon of Akkad, uh, out campaigning for UKIP. So we have two interesting new parties. Well, yes, yeah, kind of sort of new parties. Well, Brexit is absolutely a new party, but nonetheless to see the success that they have, I think really, tells people what the tempo is, what the mindset is, what the social movement is doing versus what we hear from, say, the mainstream media. Because look what happened in France with Marine Le Pen winning. She was just as disliked and pursued and smeared as President Trump. And even in Australia, with the incumbent being reelected. In Italy, some amazing things are happening across the globe. And I use the word globe here because I think that, uh, you know, as an American, uh, an individual who believes in the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and freedom of liberty, individuality, and the uh, pursuit of happiness, and of course, the individual's capability within the United States to exercise some of the fundamental rights that we have and liberties that we are given, for example, capitalism and a free market system. I'm very enthusiastic about what's happening in Europe. Now, of course, the um, alignment of parties and the alignment of ideologies between the United States and Europe is different. So when we say things like conservative parties, green parties, moderates, populists, nationalists, these uh, terms do not necessarily align with the United States, but nonetheless, the way I like to perceive it or the way I, I interpret it or would like to interpret it to you guys is that uh, it is very kind of anti-globalist or anti-EU. And that's kind of a hyperbolic explanation, but nonetheless, I think this should this should send a very clear message to all the remainers as to what the mood is about Brexit there in the UK. And that is that the Brexit party, and I'll you know, show you a graph here on the, the screen, about the, the absolute uh, 
uh, interest that people had within Brexit and even within UKIP. Now, of course, Tommy Robinson did not win his district, and I believe Carl Benjamin did not either, or, U or UKIP in general. They did. They were a, they were in second place when you see the results and the outcome. But nonetheless, uh, some of the socialist parties and some of the other parties that uh, are always being hyped by the media weren't as successful or weren't successful at all. And we're seeing that just across the board. And I think here, even in the United States, there is a schism within the Democratic Party. There's a lot of wrangling going on, even among Democrats. And I think they're feeling the desperation, just like some of the European media and uh, I guess elites there are also feeling it because I'm not hearing a lot out of the out of the remainers now. I mean, there's some grumblings, there's some irritations. Uh, even here in the United States, there isn't a lot of media coverage about some of the results there in the UK because it kind of sets a tone, right? It sets it sets, sends a bit of a message to Americans here in the United States as to what's happening across. Uh, across Europe and in the UK. But nonetheless, guys, this was something that I wanted to talk about. Now, the uh, the international um, elections or the European election, UK election can be rather complex because like I said, the parties that we identify with here in the United States, although they are uh, have similar names, they don't necessarily align with uh, what they are in uh, the UK and so forth. And you know, there's always those things there that always concerns me too, freedom of speech, the abilities of individuals to exercise their liberties and things are always kind of coming to question when it comes to Europe, especially especially with the EU and just the general consensus of uh, the ideologies and philosophies of Europeans and the UK. But nonetheless, guys, I did want to share that message with you. I will include links down in the public section below and would encourage you guys to check out some of those links because they are rather comprehensive and they do kind of give you a very good outline. In channel news with the summer months upon us, I have considered revisiting some of my favorite topics to cover here on the channel also, which is reviews and here we have the genius brand two different products genius joy and genius mushroom i believe that should be in focus and within frame two very good products that i uh, hope and anticipate to review along with swanson's titled product brain essentials which is a nootropic which is uh, excellent as well as the nootropics there from genius brand although they're not entirely nootropics but nonetheless um, it is something that i want to revisit and i do enjoy doing the reviews and i find these products to be very very good as far as their overall um, quality and uh, they are made here in the usa as well as just the general effects and um, just i really appreciate uh, how the products work and uh, they're worth mentioning and i haven't done one in quite some time i did do a friday vlog on um, X Shield, which was a very good product out of um, Infowars, and I really did enjoy it. The nascent iodine, I think it was a very good product, and it was uh, you know, worthy of a review. And I do like doing the review products because it is kind of an aspect to the channel that I've always enjoyed doing, and uh, appreciate sharing these types of things with you guys. And that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. A little bit of a light one, but nonetheless, a lot of things going on this week. And I would have liked to have covered some additional topics, but with just so much going on, guys, this is uh, kind of what I wanted to share with you this week. And that's kind of what the vlog is about. It's just uh, to jump in, give you guys kind of an idea of what's going on with the channel, just things that are going on in the background, some ideas and concepts and things that I've been looking into throughout the week and so forth, as well as the fact that I have completed the... Um, um, Civilization 6 videos and they are coming out uh, on a typical schedule so those will be rounding out I think the last one will be coming out on Monday but nonetheless guys thank you so much for the likes shares and comments your support here for the channel is always greatly appreciated and of course now is that time that you can uh, click on that channel icon appearing right there on the screen to subscribe along with clicking that notification bell so you guys will know when the Friday vlogs are available as well as additional content here on the channel and I will see you guys right there behind the camera next Friday.